So let's take a look at how to use drop table query on SQLite database table. Okay, so make sure that you have NPL module SQLite 3 installed. Also, you have one SQLite database on which we are going to run our drop table query. Okay, so in my case, I have this game group database available inside which there is one database table named groups. I'm going to run drop table query for groups table. Okay, now open one text editor, create one sample.js file in it. Make sure to have this in same directory where you have this database. Okay, and now we will write the code. So constant SQLite, then call the module. SQLite 3, then open it in verbose mode, okay? And then we will call for SQLite database, okay? And here you have to point to that database file, gamegroup.db. Next thing is to use db.run function and the query here is drop table groups. That's it. And after that, we are going to use function and capture some errors if there are any. So if error, we are going to use console.log and use error.message. Out here, I'm gonna say table dropped message, okay? Or you can say table deleted for simplicity, okay? After that, make sure to use db.close to close the connection with database, okay? So you can pause the video and go through this simple code where we are using drop table query on groups table, okay? Now open command prompt and make sure to navigate to the directory where you have your database and sample.js node file. Now here, type in node, then sample.js. And it should show you table deleted message. Now you can verify by opening this database in SQL Maestro or SQLite Admin, or you can also run a simple select query and check whether it has the output shows any database existence. As we are running drop table, it should throw an error. Okay, so this was a simple video on how to use drop table query on a SQLite 3 database table.